Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Raz Keck. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make money in World of Warcraft, regardless of what level you are. Um, a lot of people think, well, I'm not going to make any money until I hit level 100, do the in-game content, get stuff, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's the best way to get money, but if you got a new character, just started the game, rolled into a new server, you need to get some sort of money coming through to your character so you can buy mounts, buy equipment, buy mats so you can level professions if you want to do that before garrisons. Um, you know, and I'm going to show you a great way to do that to where you can make a lot of money with the auction house regardless of what level you are. So I'm going to pull up WoW here, and I'm going to show you a real quick trick. And this is what I did whenever I get on my a new server, a role for a new character. This is what I do. The first thing I do is I go to the auction house, and I'm going to search for just type deviant up in the search box. Um, I know the quality of my video isn't that good, so I'll try to um, explain it to you as good as possible. Um, you want to buy the recipe called Savory Deviate Delight. Um, and that's right here, the lowest price right now on my server. I'm on a medium pop server. It is at four gold per auction, basically. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to buy that. Sometimes, depending on what your server is, really depends on the economy there, how much this is going to go for. It doesn't cost a whole lot anymore. Um, again, just cost me four, four gold on a medium population server to do this. Um, others are going for 12 gold a piece. And, you know, that's, that's really what you need for right now. So I'm going to go run to my mailbox real quick, grab it, and teach myself how to cook it real quick. So you'll need, you'll need cooking, you'll need fishing, and you'll need the recipe for savory deviant delight. And I will uh, type this down in the comment box so you can see what you need to search for in the auction house to buy it. So when I pull everything up here, I'm going to go ahead and teach myself how to do it. You do have to have a required level of 85 in the skill of cooking to do this, which is very easy to get to. Um, you can get to that level fairly quickly. Um, so I pull up my professions here. I'm going to type in savory. So here it is right here. If you have ever walked around wondering why people are in pirate costumes or ninja costumes and they're, and they're gnomes and they're humans or running around or whatever, yeah, this is what they do. You eat this fish and it changes your character into a different appearance. And people like to use it. It's a cool um, cosmetic effect that people can use at any level in the game. Um, this used to sell for a lot. Um, a lot of people aren't really selling it on the auction house anymore. All you need for the reagents for the cooking mats is a deviant fish, and you fish it. That's all you need to cook it, just a deviant fish. So, and real quick before I go show you where you can farm these really, really easily, I'm gonna show you. If I type in savory for savory deviant delight, there's not much of anybody on my server, and I'm in Magtheridon right now, um, selling these recipes. Um, a full stack of 20 is going for 120 gold, and it's not hard to get this, guys. It's really easy. Um, and then another stack of five is selling for almost 50 gold. I, again, I apologize. I know you can't see the prices on my screen very well, but, you know, it, it is what it is. 120 gold for a stack of 20. You can get that on any level character. So I am going to show you really quickly where you need to go to do this. If you're on the horde, you'll want to fly to the crossroads. So you just go to the flying trainer. If you got a flying mount, cool, fly there yourself. If you don't, just talk to the flight path guy, um, and you will want to go to the crossroads, which is right here. It takes about 88 copper to uh, fly there. So while this character is flying, I'm going to show you real quick where it is on the map. I'm going to make it full screen here so you can see it. Uh, I'm in Orgrimmar right now. I'm flying. You basically just go southeast or southwest of Orgrimmar down to the Barrens. And it's northern Barrens now. It used to be just Barrens back in the day. Um, but you're going to go fly all the way to the crossroads, which is right here. And then you're going to go down to the Wailing Caverns instance. Um, if you've done Looking for Group before and you've done the Wailing Caverns instance, this is where it used to be. You used to have to go to this spot in Vanilla Wow and Burning Crusade to go do this instance. Um, and right here is where all the deviate fish are going to be that you can fish out of the pools there. So this guy is my death knight. He's currently flying there. So while my death knight is flying, I'm going to log on to my alliance character to show you how to get to this spot because it, it, it's easier for horde characters to get there. All you got to do is go to Orgamar, fly to the crossroads, and then go down to the Wailing Caverns is on your map. 
um, and then just start fishing in the pools. So if you're Alliance, real quick, I'm going to show you where you need to go to get to the Barrens so you can do that after you've bought your uh, recipe for savory deviate fish um, and learn how to cook and, and, and you've gotten your fishing ability, which you can go to any guard in any of the main cities Talk to them and ask where you go to those to those profession trainers. So I could talk to a guard in Stormwind, um, ask him where uh, the fishing trainer is. They'll tell me where to go. I learn my skills, get my fishing pole. It's a lot easier now in the game to do the do this and level your skills up than it used to be. Um, just because people are level 100, a lot of skill levels to go through. Blizzard realized that and they're making a change to that. So real quick, I'm gonna log on to my Alliance tune. Here's where you need to go to get to the Barrens as an Alliance character. So I'm going to open up my map real quick and show you where to go. So I'm in Stormwind right now. I'm on my flying mount, and I need to fly all the way down to Stranglethorn Vale, which is down at the very bottom of the map. So it's basically Florida for World of Warcraft. You go all the way down here, and you're going to go bottom of the Cape of Stranglethorn down by Booty Bay, down at the very bottom. That's where all the goblins and everything are. Um, there's going to be a ship there that you're going to get on, and you just ride that ship to Ratchet. It's going to take you right there. Um, if you're lower character, um, one thing that you can do, what I always did to get there, get the fuck out of here, um, is what I would do is I would go to Westfall, and then I would run from, I would basically take, take all the way down this little river from Westfall that borders Duskwood all the way down into Stranglethorn. And that'll take you there, and I'll, uh, I'll show you where that is. I'll fly over it here real quick so you can see where it's at. So, all right, so I'm up at the top of West Ball right here. And you see the river that's bordering. Now, if you're in a PvP server, be careful when you're going this way. Because if you cross over this river into uh, Duskwood, you're going to be flagged for PvP. Um, and then that means Horde characters are going to be able to kill you on your way there if there's a lot of people there. So, yeah, right now I'm in Duskwood. I'm flagged for PvP. It, it's a hostile territory. So you're basically just going to want to stay on the Westfall side of this until you get all the way down. Now, bad news is once you get to Stranglethorn, you're going to be flagged for PvP. So just be aware of that as you're going through here. Um, and know that if you're on a higher population server that has people that are leveling alts, you're going to probably get killed. Uh, it's just how it goes. This used to be very brutal territory in Vanilla WoW. I miss those days because the world PvP here was just phenomenal. It was a lot of fun. And I'm not talking about ganking characters that were 50 levels lower than me. I'm talking about everybody who is your level was PvPing here. Okay, so I'm in Stranglethorn. Um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to try to get on the road. And again, I'm flying to make this quicker. If, if you're lower level, you're not going to be able to fly there. So I'm just going to keep, keep going, get up on the path here, and you're going to take this path all the way down to southern Stranglethorn. So I'm going to go ahead and fly above the trees here just to make it a bit quicker and easier. So. Just to give a quick recap on what you're doing, if you're Alliance, go to the auction house, buy your recipe, Savory Deviate Delight, um, train in fishing, train in cooking. You will want to level both those skills up to probably, um, let's see, you need to have it at level 83, again, for cooking, to actually cook the Savory Deviate. But to successful, successfully fish in the Barrens, you're probably going to need to have your fishing around right around that level, too. Um, I think now with the implementation of WAD, you don't need to have a specific level to fish in a certain spot anymore. You just won't be catching things of that particular level and all. This, this character right here does not have any fishing. I never trained fishing on this guy. So when I get to um, the Barrens, um, I'm going to fish in that pool just to see if it works. So then that way, if you, if you have level one fishing, We'll see if you can at least fish some savory deviates there or level it while you're sitting there waiting to get some fish. So, again, it's going to take you a while to get down there. I'm flying it. It's taking me this long. This is one of the biggest areas in the game. That's why they split it up into two separate, um, two separate zones in Cataclysm, uh, and it's still freaking massive. So, all right. So when you get here, 
I won't fly over it so you can see what the entrance looks like. There's the entrance right here. This is Booty Bay. You're going to go inside this shark mouth here, and that's going to take you into Booty Bay. If you're standing by guards, you're going to have a higher chance to survive because, again, this is hostile territory. I could jump down and I could kill the shaman if I wanted, but I'm not because then the guards are going to kill me, and it's just a waste of time. So what you're going to do is you're going to wait for this boat to show up here. You're going to get on it, and you're going to, you're going to basically go all the way over to Ratchet. So I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm going to turn it back on when that boat comes so then you're not sitting around just waiting for me to get on a ship. Um, get on the boat, go to Ratchet, I'll show you where to go from there, then I'm going to verify if you can in fact fish now as level one in this pool um, with Warlords of Draenor expansion because you used to never be able to do that before in the past. So uh, I will see you when I'm in Ratchet. Okay, so our boat is just now pulling dock and Ratchet. So I'm going to get off the boat here, look at my map, you should be right down here in Ratchet. So what you're going to do, if you follow my mouse, you're going to go all the way to right over here where Wailing Caverns is. If you're a horde earlier in the video, you're going to be right up here in the crossroads. And you'll just want to go all the way down this path here to where it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and go forward on my Alliance character since I'm already logged on. I'm going to fly to make it easier, but again, you can see the path right up here. Just follow that path until you get past this big tree here, I would say. Um, if you follow this path to all the way to the right, that, if you're Alliance, that's going to take you to the Horde territory. You're going to go to Crossroads, and then you're going to get killed. The guards are going to kill you on site. If you're a lower level character, you're going to die. So just, again, follow this path. Just, or don't, don't, or, I'm sorry, don't follow the path. Just look at your map as you're going through. Cut through all the, all the mobs and everything. Everything's typically level 12 to 13 through here. So just be aware of that as you're going through. If, if, if you're level six, you might have a hard time going through. <clears throat> but if we keep going straight, you're going to see all the trees and everything here, and you're going to find a little green oasis. That's where you want to be, because that's where you fish for the savory deviate delights. So you go down into the oasis here, and you're going to see these pools of water. Um, again, pretty easy to know when you're here. This is the only spot in the Barrens that's, that's green, at least in the northern Barrens, to where there's actually water in life. Everything's pretty barren and desolate, like the title says. So and you, here's where you get your deviates. You just fish in these pools here. So I'm going to cast my rod, see if I can fish. All right. I'm a fishing apprentice right now. Again, this is level one fishing. I, I, never, I don't have it on this guy yet, so I want to just verify that we can, in fact, get it. All right, so there I go. First time. I'm fishing level two now, and I just pulled out a deviant fish uh, my first try. Um, if, you, if you're not looking for the schools of fish, it's going to take you a while to get some. Um, it, it's a very tedious and, and boring task, I, I hate to say it, uh, to get your deviant fish to where you can cook them and, and sell them on the auction house. Uh, you basically you click and cast your fishing spell. You're going to see there's a little bobber over here kind of hard to see on my screen, but you'll see a bobber on your screen. When you mouse over it, a fishing hook appears. You're going to wait for that bobber to splash like it just did. Right click it and see that time I caught weeds. So uh, you're not going to get a deviate fish every time, but to kind of better your chances, there are pools and schools of uh, deviate fish here. I'm going to see if I can try and get it to show up. Um, Oh shoot! Don't know if it's going to be able to. You're going to be able to see it on my screen or not. There's a horde character doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. Uh, but you can see that there's like splashing fish jumping out, like right here on my screen. There's a uh, splashing fish right over here, and if you look at my tooltip, it says school of deviate fish. If you find the school of deviate fish, and you can cast your line to be right where they are. Almost every single time you pull out that bobber when it splashes and you catch a fish, it's going to be a deviate fish. Um, so that will just increase your chances to catch them. The faster you get them, the faster you can sell. See there, I just caught another deviate fish. So basically what you're going to do is when you get a stack of 20, you're going to take those back to the auction house and you're going to sell them for 
however much they're going for on the auction house. You, you want to aim for undercutting your competition by maybe a couple of silver. It's kind of a dick thing to do, but that's how you sell them. Um, if you're in a really saturated server where people are selling them like crazy, um, again, on my server, Magtheridon, when I was on my Horde character, they weren't really selling much at all. There's one person that sold something, or is selling them. So you can sell them from anywhere. I've seen them go anywhere between 40 gold to 120. I, I've even sold some for 200 gold per stack, and that's per 20. Um, so you can get fairly profitable doing this, um, no matter what level you are in the game. Uh, again, it's it's not the easiest thing to do, and it's not the most fun thing to do, but, well, let me rephrase that. It's very easy to do. It just sucks. It's boring. You're going to be sitting there for a while catching the fish. Then you got to go back into town, sell them, wait for the auction to go, and then you have your money. Um, and if you're in a lower population server, there might not be people that are really looking for them. So that's the drawback to this. You can make a lot of money doing it, but it really depends on your server, how much competition is there on the auction house. Um, and and how much you can really sell them for um, to make it worth your time. I, I know there's a lot of people that when they roll new characters on these servers, they don't even really do anything like this until they get max level because it just takes so much time to do it, and you can be using that time to level. But if you're like me, I like to be up on my professions, up on everything as I'm leveling a character. I like to have some money. I like to have my mounts really, really fast, especially when I get into the Warlords of Draenor content. That way I can just fly through everything. If I still got a level 40 fat kid mount and I'm not going very fast, uh, you know, that's going to slow me down for what I want to do in the game. So, you know, um, you know, just take it or leave it. If you like it, great. If it helps you out and you can sell and make some money no matter what level you are, cool, great. I'm happy for you. Um, if not, you know, this might not be for you if you don't want to spend the time sitting there fishing for a, a couple of minutes at a time. Uh, it can take you 20 to 30 minutes to get a full stack sometimes. Um, you know, then that, that's up to you. Uh, I know if I was uh, waiting for a raid or something or waiting for my guild to do some things with me, if I was bored not doing anything, and uh, then I would come here and I would fish on my other alts or my characters on my other servers. Obviously, when you hit level 100, I have another guide that you can get around 2,000 gold per hour, and, it, and there are better ways to farm and get gold than sitting here fishing. Um, but, you know, just something for you to think about. So, hope that helps you. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, follow me. I'm on Twitch, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. Just do backslash Razkek on any of those websites, and you should be able to find me. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you have any questions, comments, post them below. I'll reply to them. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see uh, for the future. Thanks. Have a good one.